so you guys after many years of their breakup publicly um jennifer and Toyosi, that is Funke Akindele and Juliana, have actually reconciled. So actually, Juliana took to her Instagram account to apologize publicly to Funke Akindele. And she thanked her for the opportunity she gave her. According to Juliana, because she was still your baby in Geneva's diary, you know, it that skyrocketed her career to another level and you guys remember the days of toyo baby in jennifer's diary i feel like that was the height of jennifer's diary i remember those days i would just sit down and watch like a whole um you know season just at once it was the good days of jennifer's diary and shout out to you think funke akindele for actually keeping up because even when toyo baby left people were like talking about how it's not interesting anymore but she kept going and you see people have now warmed up back to jennifer's diary again so anyways if you remember what happened even though funke akindele did not speak about it and toyo city did not really give plenty details she just talked about how um funky akindele turned her into like a house help you know increased her scenes she'll be in the house she'll cook food for funky akindele she even became like makeup artist on set and she was insinuating that for the job she was doing funky was not increasing her pay you know funky was kind of using her that's what she said in an interview just gave like surface reason she didn't really go ahead to talk about the main thing that happened but people were asking and she was quiet about it funke too was quiet about it years later now in 2023 um juliana put up a public post on instagram to thank funke akindele and in that post she actually kind of blamed her manager that's her management that's them um, to your sis management saying that they sent funky akindele a message which doesn't even know the details of the um of the email till now maybe trying to increase her pay or something so i think that was the email that caused the major wahala so basically to your sis is not trying to move herself from all the blame but she's saying she was young you know she did not know about this whole celebrity lifestyle and she did not really have the right management so if you are a celebrity or upcoming understand that if you feel like your career is going to do well i know that you always learn and make mistakes in the journey or on the journey but one thing people need to know is that a very good manager is going to either make or mar your career i think toyo c was very very lucky that she became popular on jennifer's diary if not this kind of thing could have ended somebody's career you left jennifer's diary abruptly and i'm not saying she's influencing now but when it comes to movies she's not acting a lot of movies truthfully Maybe she has stayed on Jennifer's diary, you know, she would have um, gotten far than she is right now. Maybe too, if she has stayed on Jennifer's diary, she wouldn't have had enough time to do other projects. Nobody knows. But I'm just happy that she has actually apologized to Funke Akindele. And according to her, that her and Funke Akindele have actually made up. She said Funke Akindele hugged her, cooked for her, made her jello fries, you know, and they spoke like, you know, old time. So, and she should expect something from them. Maybe they're going to do a project together again, which is good. But everybody should be careful of the other person. Don't do because you went to apologize. Then people will not sign normal contract because if you come back again, we will not answer you. Then Funke too should not do that because they apologize to you. You now want to not do the right things. Everybody should do the right thing. If you want to do a movie together, sign contracts, have a um, paperwork, know what you're going to don't be doing free free services after doing free services you'll not come out and be complaining so do the right things so that later on all these issues will not come up i feel like funke has had a very very rough year from the whole governorship stuff to her husband her you know separation and all that be divorced it's just a lot um that she has gone through so because nobody should stress funke akindele let her have power to uh, make great movies for us so i'm happy that they've made up because really in this life to air is human to forgive is divine in jennifer's voice <laughs> so you guys let me know if you missed her see on the jennifer's diary yeah i missed her i feel like she could have stayed or you know but okay since she did not stay and they've um, made up that's the most important thing but let me know your thoughts are in the comment section guys it's the real show thank you for watching like share subscribe follow us on our facebook page i'll see you in my next video Bye bye